Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Fall is finally here and that means apple season is here too. And today I wanted to share with you my new recipe for the best glazed apple fritters made using yeasto. These are phenomenal, super soft and fluffy, dotted with tons of apples, lots of cinnamon in there too. And I love that sweet glaze that just finishes everything off. We'll get started with a soft cinnamon dough, fold in tons of diced apples and then let the fritters proof before deep frying them and finishing them off with that simple glaze biting into these is like an explosion of fall flavors you get apple on every single bite a little bit of that cinnamon flavor you are going to be in food heaven with these apple fritters don't forget to head on down into that video description box for the recipe link i have all the details up on my website including metric measurements meanwhile let me show you how to make these incredible fritters Heat one cup of whole milk in the microwave or on the stove top to between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to pour that into a large mixing bowl. Sprinkle in a couple tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of dry active yeast. We're going to let this stand and proof for about five minutes. It should become light and foamy and fluffy. Next, we'll add in the remaining half cup of white granulated sugar, one teaspoon of sea salt, two large eggs, a third cup of melted unsalted butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk this all together. I've measured out three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You wanna add this gradually into the batter, whisking really well after each addition, and then once that batter starts to thicken, we'll switch over to a spatula. And we'll add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, For these apple fritters, we're actually looking for a really soft, sticky dough. So once you add in the three and a half cups of flour, it's still going to look and feel sticky. And that is the way it's supposed to be. Now let's switch gears and prep our apples. We're going to need about three to four large apples. I like to remove the peel first I'm using some honey crisp apples today. These are really sweet and crispy. Dice the apples into small pieces. We'll add our diced apples to the cinnamon dough. If you like to have lots of cinnamon like I do, sprinkle in two additional teaspoons of cinnamon. Once you have the diced apples combined with the cinnamon dough, it's time for the first proofing. I'm going to cover my mixing bowl with a clean towel and set this into a warm corner of my kitchen to proof for about an hour until that dough is light and fluffy and then we'll come back to shape our fritters. Let's check on this dough. Look how fluffy it is. It's proofed really nicely. Meanwhile, I went ahead and cut some sheets of parchment paper. This recipe yields about 10 to 12 fritters, so just cut little squares like this. Now we're going to divide the dough for each fritter. Grab a spatula. We're going to measure out some of this dough with the apples. Just drop it onto the parchment paper. I like to place the apple fritters onto a baking sheet, that way I can move them around a little bit easier. Press the diced apple pieces back into the dough to make sure that they're well secured. Our apple fritter dough needs to proof one more time, this time for about 30 minutes until it's light and fluffy again. Meanwhile, I'm going to start prepping my cooking oil for deep frying the fritters, and I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple glaze to finish them off. For the glaze, we'll start with about four cups of confectioner's sugar. Place that into a large mixing bowl. I love to add a little bit of vanilla to the glaze, just gives it some more flavor. A couple teaspoons of vanilla extract. 
I'm going to start with half a cup of milk and I'm going to add more as needed because I want the uh, glaze to have like this thick consistency. It's going to stick to the fritters nicely. Give that a good whisk until you don't have any clumps remaining and you have a nice thick glaze. For deep frying, I like to use canola oil. You could pour it into a pot or a deep saute pan like I'm using today. I want to heat it until it reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit. My oil is almost there and then we could start deep frying these. Slide the apple fritters into the hot oil, parchment paper and all. I usually do about two at a time. And then use some tongs and lift that parchment paper out. It should come, uh, come off pretty quickly. Fry the apple fritters until they're a rich golden brown color. You wanna turn them every couple of minutes so that they cook evenly. Once the fritters are a deep golden brown color, remove them from the hot oil onto a wire rack. I like to place a little paper towel underneath to catch the excess oil. Next batch going in. Let's see if I can't squeeze a third one in here too. While these fritters are still nice and hot, we'll want to dip them into that glaze that we prepared earlier. I like to dip the bottom first, dip into that glaze, make sure it gets really well coated. Oh, these are super hot, so be careful. The last batch of my apple fritters are in the oil. I'm going to finish glazing the previous batch. These uh, come together so quickly once you're deep frying them. Oh, I wish you guys could smell the aroma. It smells so incredible. I am so excited for these apple fritters. I've been holding back. I'm like, okay, gotta finish everything first. Now it's time to dig in and enjoy. I'm gonna grab one of my earlier ones, one that's cooled down. Oh, check that out. Isn't that incredible? You have the inside with lots and lots of apples. Let's give this a try. And these are best when they're still warm. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. These are so incredibly soft and fluffy. There's tons of cinnamon flavor in here, lots and lots of apples. I love that you get apple in every single bite. This is the ultimate fall treat right here. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You guys have to drop everything you're doing and make these apple fritters as soon as you can. You're gonna thank me later. These are pure perfection, simply divine. Like the texture, the flavor, everything about them is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. These are irresistibly delicious. I'm definitely gonna have to give these away so I'm not tempted to eat all of them. Don't forget to head on down into that video description box for the recipe link. I have all the details online. Thank you guys so much for watching my latest episode and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.